For the longest time, the Italian aviation industry has been following its own unique path, with generations of Italian engineers working on their own aerodynamic solutions without much regard for foreign achievements. As time passed, though, Italy was eventually forced to adapt and adopt technologies coming from abroad. During World War II, the Italian aviation industry made heavy use of German engines and armaments, and after the war, they purchased a lot of hardware from Allied nations, resulting in Italy having a very varied park of unusual aircraft, incorporating both purely Italian design solutions as well as technologies and hardware developed elsewhere. We start with the CR-32 and the CR-42, fast biplanes armed with two 12.7mm machine guns. Then it's mostly monoplanes. Take the C-200 series Senseta, for instance. It's as fast and maneuverable as fighters of other nations. The only problem it has, though, is that its armament is the same as earlier planes. The RE-2002 is also worth checking out. It's not just faster than the C-200, it also has access to bombs, making it a viable pick for mixed battles. There are two Volgore aircraft waiting for us at rank 2, the C-202 and the C-202EC. These two are basically direct opposites of each other. The C-202 flies like a dream. You won't have any difficulty claiming higher altitudes for yourself, and would perform pretty well in maneuvering air combat to boot. But you won't have much firepower. The aircraft is armed with only two 12.7mm and two 7.7mm machine guns, and that's not much. The C202EC has no problems with firepower whatsoever, as it comes with two 20mm MG151 cannons, but it's significantly less agile. Leave maneuvering air combat to others. If you're fond of mixed battles, look no further than the U87D3 dive bomber. Yeah, compared to its German counterpart, it has a somewhat smaller bomb load, but you'd still be able to destroy at least a few ground targets every time you leave the airfield. Or you can try flying the Re 2001CN, a new aircraft of the Regiana series armed with two 20mm cannons. The third era is where foreign influences become more readily apparent. The C205 Serie 3 is a result of the further development of the C202, and it comes with a brand new German engine, allowing for even better performance. There was no need to be stingy with armaments either, so the aircraft was fitted with two MG151 cannons. There's also an interesting German fighter, the BF109G2, sporting a unique Hungarian Air Force camouflage found in the premium branch of the tree next to the HS-129B2 armed with a deadly 30mm cannon. Do you enjoy strafing? <laughs> then this is an aircraft for you. This rank also gives us the P-108A, an absolute champion when it comes to high calibers. This little bird is fitted with a 102mm gun. <laughs> oh yeah! Rank 4 is where we get Italian piston engine fighters in their prime. For example, take a look at the G56. It has an excellent rate of climb as well as lots of firepower. There is also the excellent RE2005 Series Zero. It commands just as much firepower, but is also more agile and can carry bombs. Oh, don't get us wrong, both are amazing. It's just that the former would be a better pick for air battles, while the latter is great for mixed battles. We also simply have to talk about the SM-91, which is basically a flying gun rack. See for yourselves. It's armed with six 20mm cannons, and there is also another 20mm gun in its dorsal turret. Fire away, bud. Of course, there is a heavy price to pay for all that firepower, 
The SM91 doesn't fly particularly well, let's put it that way. But it's still an excellent aircraft if you like head-on engagements or want to intercept some bombers. Welcome to the fifth era. While we're here, take a look at the G91 jet fighter. A design truly worthy of representing the Italian way of designing aircraft. Its only noticeable flaw lies in its firepower department. At this rank, four high-caliber machine guns are not enough to eliminate targets instantly. You'll have to get on their six first, and only then give them hell. The premium version of G91, or the G91R4, doesn't have to rely on guns to deal with its targets. It also can carry four Sidewinder air-to-air missiles. If you're more into head-on attacks, then maybe you should take two AA-20 Nord missiles instead. Those are basically ATGMs with proximity fuses. And if you want to hunt ground vehicles, there are always AS-20 Nord missiles at your disposal. We finally made it to the sixth rank. If you like Sabres, you will probably love the F-86K Sabre Dog. Appearance-wise, it's just like other Sabres, but there were a lot of important changes made to it under the hood. The Italian version has a new engine, a new radar station, and more firepower than ever. While most Sabres are armed with machine guns, this little beauty is equipped with quick-firing cannons. Clearly, not the most drastic of upgrades, but in combat, every little thing helps. On the very top, there is this majestic bird, the G91YS. That's not just yet another modification of the G91, it's more of a brand new aircraft. For starters, it has two engines instead of one, allowing for an even greater max speed. Now, you won't be breaking the sound barrier on this aircraft anytime soon, but it can easily go at 1,100 kph at low altitudes, more than enough to fight anyone. At the same time, thanks to a bigger wing, this model is still very agile, and it's armed with new 30mm cannons to boot. In two words, opponents beware. What are your favorite Italian aircraft? The original designs made in Italy, or the ones incorporating hardware and solutions developed elsewhere? Tell us in the comments below. We really welcome your input and experiences.